Does my anger scare you? Does my truth for knowing irritate you? Does the blackness of my skin make you feel uncomfortable because of the safetyness of the whiteness you may live in? Does the world comfort or protect, embrace or neglect? Does it treat you with respect or does it treat you with disdain? Does it handle you with dignity or does it revel in your absolute uncomfortability? Would you call the police if you were in trouble or not bother because they're just not worth the trouble? Do they treat you with respect or do they treat you with disdain? Do they hand you with dignity or do they revel in your absolute uncomfortability? Do they tell you to empty your pockets and ask you where you're going? Would you call them if you were in trouble or not bother because they're not worth the trouble? Does my anger scare you? Does my truth annoy and irritate you? Does the blackness of my skin make you feel uncomfortable because of the safety of the whiteness that you live in? Does it make you shift in your seat, the thought of thrashing feet, of fingers gnarled and desperate trying frantically to get free? Of eyes bulging, of screams stuck in throats, unable to get out, of fingers gnarled and desperate? Or does it make you say, oh my gosh, She's so aggressive. <laughs> I can understand why the police react the way in which they do. If you had to deal with that, then wouldn't you? Does it make you feel better to make up some kind of an excuse? That the dead could not have been innocent, the police do not kill, so it must have been an accident. Accident and asphyxiation, the coroner always said, but if only a little compassion was shown. If only a little common sense was shown. If only it was remembered that was someone's mother, father, brother, sister. If only someone has said, stop. Does it not make you feel ashamed that my people are not safe? And those who kill them have absolute impunity because I've yet to hear the single officer who has gone down for a death in police custody. Whoa. And I can reel off the names of those who failed to make it. Take Joy Gardner, killed July 1992 in front of her six-year-old son. They wrapped her head and face in 13 feet of tape and placed her in a body belt because they said she overstayed her welcome. So yes, they sent her back to Jamaica, but they sent her back in a coffin. And how about Lasani Lewis, a student, dark-skinned like me, British born and bred, had a nervous breakdown, ends up in a hospital, a mental hospital. An altercation takes place, the police call, and the Grim Reaper's fate falls. And how about Rashawn Charles? 20 years old, ends up on the floor of a shop being restrained by a passerby and a policeman. 70 minutes later, he's dead. How many more? How many more? Peter San Pedro. Here you go. Wayne Douglas, Anthony Olotto, who else we got? Asif Dad, George Bossy Davis, we've got Ibrahim Hassan, we've got Sarah Thompson. Here you go. Have Roger Sylvester, have Cheryl Gross, have Shanice Parrish, got have Sean Ring, have Ricky Bishop, have Derek Ben, have Christopher Order, have Sarah Thompson. Have Kevin Clark here, Parson Moran. Have Adele Rogers. Have Shane Bryant. Uh, have, we'll have Sean D. Sean Charles de Mendes. Mm. Have a men. Go on, take them, take them. Yeah, Donovan Williams. Here, have a Wayne Douglas. If you don't know these people, look them up. Have a Roger Sylvester. Have a Tyrone Wilson. Have a Jerome Scott. I'm going to say Lulumba. Arthur, Arthur Allison. Ian Gordon, Vandana Patel, all oh, that these people don't know what they're doing. Have a Oliver Fry, have a Mark Ventor, pass them down, pass them down. Cynthia Jarrett, pass them down. How many more, 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 Late one night, on the way home, gets punched in the face by some random white guy. Sees a passing police car, which she stops to get help. Instead of them helping her, they arrest her and almost succeed in suffocating her. Then on top of that, they try to section her. So how many more? How? So yes, I'm meant to make you feel uncomfortable. 
Yes, I'm meant to make you squirm. Yes, I'm meant to make you question. I'm meant to make you hurt. I'm meant to make you cry. I'm meant to make you ask why. I'm meant to make you squirm. I'm meant to make you uncomfortable. I'm meant to make your stomach churn. I'm meant to take you to task to be a voice for those who cannot ask. For there are fathers without sons and mothers without children and women without lovers and brothers without sisters. So yes, I'm meant to make you feel uncomfortable. I'm meant to make you squirm. I'm meant to make you hurt. I'm meant to make you cry. I'm meant to take you to task to be a voice for those who cannot ask. How many more? How many more? How many more? How many more? Thank you. Woo! Yeah.